New at 11 tonight, a family at the center of a violent rampage still coming to grips with what happened. A knife-wielding intruder barged into their house Monday, slashing their dog dozens of times with a knife. Police eventually shot and killed the man, but tonight, one of his victims is still in a lot of pain. Fox 13's Josh Cassio is in our newsroom. Josh, we know this dog is lucky to be alive, and even the family, they're still traumatized by all of this. Yeah, absolutely. I can tell you, Levi is still in a lot of pain. It's unbelievable to think about the fact that he survived 30-plus stab wounds to his head. I'm going to say that again. 30-plus stab wounds. It's a fact that brings his owner to tears. Yellow bandages cover Levi's distinctive basset hound ears. He can barely move from the heavy medication. I'm angry that it was done to him. I'm angry at the whole day that happened. Monday morning, the six-year-old canine found himself being stabbed by a crazed man with a knife in one hand and a tire iron in the other. He burst in through Terry Green's back door. He just came walking in with a tire iron and a knife. He was bumping all the walls and everything. You really want to know what it's like? I can't go to my house. I drive around Brooksville all day long because all I see is him coming through that back door with a knife. Deputies killed the attacker, 26-year-old Taylor Hodge, but not before he did serious damage to Levi, slashing him 32 times. I think uh, as far as the severity of the attack here, it's probably the worst I've seen. He's already lost a third of his ear and could lose the rest. There were so many of them that they lacerated blood vessels and muscles. I'm sad and I pray for him every night to get better. A fundraising account has been set up to help with the mounting vet bills. It's reached $4,000 in just three days. When I went on that page and saw the supporters out there and the things they had to say, I can't thank anybody enough. It's the one bright spot in an otherwise nightmarish week. I sat today and thought how perfect my life was. And now it's in such a turmoil. And Levi will need some reconstructive surgery on his ears. Uh, I'm told he should be able to go home in a few weeks. And they say after he recovers from his injuries, he should live a normal life. Cynthia. Yeah, we you. feel for that poor dog and for that family. We have to remember, too, it was her other dog that she says sort of saved the day by latching on to that guy. She yeah, has Bubba J, the pit bull, bit that guy in the house, helped get him out of the house, protecting uh, her and her granddaughter. Yeah, I know. Dog came to the rescue again. Absolutely. Thank you, Josh.